Imagine you are a coach of a football team and a big match is coming and you have to give instructions to your team members you have to check the team members you have to check the uniform you have to tell them how they should play what should be the moves what should be the strategies now if you go to each and every team member and give them all the instructions it will be highly time consuming and it will take a lot of effort so the coach decides to hire a agent called as ansible you can think it as a assistant of the coach and this assistant called ansible creates a list of instructions for the players and this list of instructions is called a playbook and this assistant called ansible has some special powers that he can make this playbook run through all the players all at once and he can also create groups of players for these players some common instructions have to be executed and he can do that as well so this assistant can create a set of instructions and make these instructions run through all the players all at once now imagine in place of coach you are the system admin or a devops engineer in a company and then you have to manage the servers so again if you have to do it manually you will log into each and every server and do the setup or configuration management or install some things or update some other softwares but if you have a power if you have a tool that can do all this all at once on multiple servers that will be so 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 helpful and that is what is ansible all about so let's say this is a system administrator or a devops engineer in a organization and she has to manage all these servers and by manage we mean that they she may have to do, do some configuration management or set up some software update some software or add some resources here in these servers so instead of doing everything manually on each and every server the system administrator takes a machine it can be a physical laptop or a desktop it can be a cloud machine or a virtual machine and the system admin set up ansible on this system by setting up ansible we mean she will install ansible then create a file called inventory this file inventory will have details about all the hosts or all the servers that we have to manage the, their ip domain name uh, how they will log into these servers all that will be in the file called inventory and then she will create a file called playbook playbook will be a yaml file written in yaml and it will have instructions that we have to run on these servers and then when we run the playbook the instructions will be executed on these servers so this is how ansible will work and the machine where we set up ansible is called as controller and the servers that we manage through ansible are called as hosts so this is a ansible controller and this is a these are ansible host now ansible is a open source automation tool it is used for configuration management and we can use ansible to manage one or more servers all at once we can do different things on these servers like configuration management application deployment server deployments infrastructure setup removing or adding software etc and all these uh, the details about all these servers their ip domain name how they will be connected all these details are present in a file called ansible inventory and then all the instructions we have to run on these servers or hosts is present in a yaml file called playbook they can be one or uh, multiple playbooks and then when we run the playbooks the connection is made to the host systems and then the instructions which are there in the playbook are executed on these host systems so this is how ansible uh, will work and ansible is written primarily in python and it was originally written by michael d han and then acquired by red hat and the term ansible comes from a novel and in this novel ansible was a machine which was used to establish connection with distant stars and used to do the things very quickly and therefore it got its name from there so whenever you have to think of ansible you can think of the coach of a football team who has to manage all the teammates which you can imagine as servers and the coach uses a assistant called ansible to do all this management of the servers in a very quick easy and efficient way 
in the coming session we will learn how ansible works and then we will practically see how we use ansible we will install ansible and we will manage the server i hope this was very useful for you if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning